So, after much work, I was able to get copies of ISOM 1 and ISOM 2 delivered to my bunker. And I now have them in my possession. For whatever reason, I have two copies of ISOM 2. I think I might have checked a box saying I want two copies so I can keep one in the wrapper or something. I don't know if I did that. Um, I did not do it for the first one for whatever reason, but now I have two. Which means that um, once I figure out how I want to do it, I don't know if I'm going to just like hang a camera up above my table and I'll flip through it with my hands and read it like in a, a video format or if I'll just get a, um, a PDF anyways and read through it or just like take pictures of certain pages and use that to like explain specific parts. I, I will try to figure out how I want to do a review of this. And I, I've been thinking about it. Um, I've, I've been traveling, so I've been thinking about uh, how I would do this. And I feel that the best way to do it would be to rate my boredom. I have never owned a comic book. I have never owned a comic book ever. 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 I have never read a comic book. My mom even had copies of The Walking Dead, like the original comic books. Um... And she's read through them all, but I have never, I, I never read those comic books. So I, I've never read a comic book. Um, and I, I'm not into cape shit at all. So my scale will be like this. This is how I'm going to, to evaluate these comics. I will read through them. And a 10 for me, I think, you know, with my level of pre-established interest in these, this kind of media, a 10 out of 10 in my rating would be I never got bored once. I never got bored. If I if I managed to sit down and I bought the books, I actually I, I'm aware some people told me that actually physically holding the book is like important to the experience. It's like, okay, whatever. I'll do it, I'll do it properly. I'll buy the fucking books and actually read them um in my own hands. And if I manage to sit down and read the entire fucking thing. And never once be like, oh, God, this is so fucking dumb or whatever. That will be a 10 out of 10 on my scale. And anytime I say I'm so bored or like I don't want to read this anymore or this is stupid or I'm not interested, I will take all points. So a zero will be like I either didn't finish it or I had to force myself to complete it. That will be a zero. And a 10 will be I sat down and I, I basically read it. And if I stopped, it wasn't because I, I was... I needed a, like a break or anything, or I was bored of it. I just needed a break or I had to go to the bathroom or some shit. Like that's my scale. Um, and then I'll release it to Gumroad when I'm done. And then I'll release it to the general public uh, a week afterwards as, uh, as per, per usual. Um, so that's my plan with the book. I will, if, uh, I don't know if I'll get alpha core, maybe someone suggested that if I, because he didn't write that one, I might, um, they'd be interested in that opinion. I will, however, I will, I will, no matter what it takes, I will acquire a copy of whatever the fuck Vito's comic is. I He can release one copy of that book and never have it enter the online sphere. I am going to get it. I am going to make Vito cry. I am going to say such terrible things about that book, regardless of its content. <laughs> that I, I can't even say. Look, I'm just saying that there will be severe consequences for my review of Vito's comic book when that happens. So that's in my plan. It's my ultimate plan. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.